Let's settle this. Could a pilot have moved both engine fuel switches to cut off just seconds after takeoff? First, the cold, hard data. The flight data recorder, or FDR, doesn't lie. It logs every switch and lever with accuracy down to a tenth of a second. Here's what it showed. Engine 1's fuel control switch flipped from run to cut off at exactly 0808.42.0. Then, engine 2's switch moved from run to cut off just one second later at 0808.43.0. That one second gap is not a guess. The FDR records electrical signals directly from the cockpit hardware, so there's no confusing what happened or when. Now let's check the cockpit voice recorder, the CVR. Right after both engines shut down, one pilot asks, Why did you cut off? The other replies, I didn't do it. Their confusion? It matches the timeline exactly. But how do these switches work? Each is guarded by a red safety latch. To move one, you have to lift the guard, then pull and push the switch down firmly. Not a simple flick. Even for a pro, it takes at least a second and a half. Could one person do both in under a second? Only if they had both hands ready, the guards already open, and fully intended to shut down both engines at once. That doesn't fit the CVR audio or cockpit layout. The switches are far apart. And it's simply not how pilots work. That one second timing, too quick for any accidental or coordinated human action, too precise for random vibration, and far too synchronized for both safety latches to fail together. Bottom line, the evidence proves it wasn't pilot action. The data stands, and the mystery continues.